hot and dogs in the woods, I need a treat something. Hello again everybody. Here we are back with my gal Mitzi. Today we're going to flush her heater core because it's been a year and a half sitting since the engine started getting rebuilt. So, before we put her back in and top her off with new stuff, I wanted to, you know, clean her out in case there's any crumbs at the bottom of that. And that includes the gas tank because, you know, anything that sits for a year plus, I don't trust. Because you don't want that to possibly gunk up your engine, especially if you just, you know, basically made her brand new again. So, let's get started. What I, what I have here is a vinyl tubing hooked up with a splicer, 5 8 thick inner diameter, this is and that, so your car might be different. But the coolant normally flows this way and out this hose. It's different for every car again, but this time we're having to go the opposite way and hope that we can get most of the crud out. I have the other end of this hooked up to the garden hose with a little adapter that you can get at Home Depot. And let's see if any crud comes out. Okay, we have everything hooked up. Our hoses are in place. Now, when you turn this on, you don't want to turn it on full force because then it's going to be shooting water like crazy and we don't want to put a risk of putting too much pressure into that heater core. So what you want to do is barely turn it on to the lowest setting possible and then go check on your hoses to see what it's doing and if it needs a little more then just turn it a little more so let's get this started and see what happens it's starting to look more clean now for the most part it looks green but I can definitely see in the bottom of this bucket down here that's got some grime in it but we're just going to keep this going for a couple minutes. Okay, now that that's done, our bucket is now filled with the old coolant. It's hard to really see from here, but when I checked it earlier, there was definitely some crumbs in there, so I'm glad we did this. But now, our next step is to take the uh, garden hose off of this and put a funnel up to it preferably one that fits snug into this hose and then you're going to fill it with coolant but you got to kind of hold it upright so that the gravity will kind of do its job but basically you want to fill it up with coolant until you see coolant coming out of this side then that's how you know it's all done okay it's looking a lot clearer now so I'm probably going to shut this off and go on to the next step but before that I want to take this time to thank Chris Fix if you haven't heard of him go look him up on YouTube He's got a ton of followers because he has great advice. Nothing to give but great advice. This was one of his ideas, so if you haven't seen him or heard of him, please check him out. Okay, that about wraps it up for this video. Mitzi has some fresh coolant in her now, or at least the heater core, so we're set on that. I gotta say, for being a 40-year-old truck though, it was not that dirty like I was expecting to see. I guess that means they were the previous owners were actually pretty competent about changing her out or keeping her fresh filled with coolant now if only they could have done the same thing with the oil because then maybe we wouldn't have to rebuild an engine well, with all that coolant in your bucket the last thing you want to do is what a lot of old timers tend to do is just toss it in the backwoods or their backyards because animals are very attracted to the smell of that and if they get into it too much or even a little they can die so please recycle it properly folks <laughs> Never have a 